No pulse. No pulse. No breathing. No breathing. No heartbeat. No heartbeat. And then there's, of course, its counterpart. Like everything else in this reality, it has a positive or exalted expression and then a negative or detrimental expression. And so when, involuted, when involution is in, it is involuted in its negative form, that's when it is pulling consciousness into a sleep state. It's the forces within creation, the archons that are the extensions of personified forces of separation within the cosmos that act as the ways within ourselves, so the inner and outer world. But the forces of involution are the, the ways that we see in the external realm, as well as their matching corresponding parts in the internal realm that pull us into the sleep state of unconsciousness or skepticism. It is to fragment so thoroughly into the material that it calcifies. And so really involution in its worst, most negative interpretation of this esoteric term is to calcify. It is to disconnect one from spirit so thoroughly that it looks like Mars. Which is why some people are obsessed with Mars. So yeah, so the first wave of ascension. Everything happens in waves. Consciousness evolves through spiral dynamics that are expressed in the form of a wave. The wave is not the water. The water merely told us about the wave moving by. Do you get that? The water is just the medium. The water wasn't like, oh, the waves are from water. No, the water is showing us what's happening beyond the water. It's showing us what we would see beyond the physical, beyond the calcification. So that's pretty cool. So that's just to show that, you know, consciousness is either spiraling in an upward trajectory or a lower trajectory, which in what we just went over, that, that swing in a lower spiral would be involution, calcification. Where is...